Hi YouTube! Okay, like the title says, I'm going to be talking about the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series and the Heroes of Olympus series. Namely because I just finished Mark with Athena and I have nobody to sob with. Yeah, that's completely unacceptable and I'm still really angry about that. Alrighty then, let's get going! Right, so off the bat I'm going to say that I love Percy Jackson and the Olympian series and the Heroes of Olympus series. Just to be clear, because Pluto forbid that I bash the PGO fandom, but seriously, I was not pleased with the first book. I'd peg it irresponsible at the very least to give a 12-year-old a quest that could make it break it for the gods. And then on top of that, when I was reading the beginning, I thought that Percy didn't have much personality. And what really got me is the parallels to Harry Potter. I mean, he's a guy with black hair, green eyes, a convoluted history and his companions are a brainy girl and a whiny guy kick who can't think about anything but food for more than five consecutive minutes. Also, all the titles of the chapter? Yeah, no, Rick, stop it. It ain't cute. At one point in the book, Percy Green Newbie Jackson fought the immortal god of war in the span of about three pages and won. Like, what even? To me, Percy's point of view was like a 45-year-old man trying to sound like a 12-year-old because it was written in the first person, and I understand that that's hard for most authors and stuff to accomplish, but I feel like Rick didn't do a very good job in The Lightning Thief at all. Or Sea of Monsters, but later on he got the feel of his characters better and got used to writing that way, and for, for that I forgive him for the first two. Percy's moral compass was way too impeccable, like for a 12 year old, I, I get that the whole demigod hardwired for, you know, being abrasive and restless and all that other stuff is part of the story, but none of the other demigods were acting like that. Like, if a god came up to one of them, then they would call them my lord and, you know, all this other stuff. And then there's Percy Jackson, who's just like, Ares is a bad dude. I don't like you. Like, excuse me, Percy, that's a god you're talking to. Show us a little bit of respect. First book, he, you know, gets the best of some furies, Medusa the Minotaur, not a Minotaur, choose the fight with Hades, Ares, Chiron, Zeus, Poseidon, and all with his cheeky ass attitude, saves the world, his mom, and his BFFs with his awesome water skills, I ask you, is this god mod? But then I think about, you know, stories that you grow up with and you read when you're like 13 or 14, which is the target audience, and you know, Rick wasn't shooting for 19 year old English majors who are so anal retentive about detail and every little nitpicky thing in a book ever that they can't ever be satisfied, namely me. So I'm gonna say for a children's book, this book is great. It's very imaginative and it incorporates Greek mythology, which is also good because um, kids get to know who you know, people like Ares and Hermes and stuff like that is, but as a book in general, I was very underwhelmed. Before I read the book, I, uh, I watched the movie and that the movie inspired me to read the books because I really liked it. So, um, I think in movie form it would make more sense. It made more sense that Percy was 17 because it uh, well, it would have made more sense if Ares was in it, Ares wasn't, but if he fought Ares and he was, like, older, then that would have made more sense. The only thing that I did have a complaint with with the movie, because I didn't, I didn't read the book first, so I didn't know all the stuff that I know now, but, um, is that in the beginning he didn't find it odd that he could hold his breath underwater for seven consecutive minutes. Like, that's not natural. Shouldn't you probably get that checked out or something? Something like that. I don't know. Percy Jackson whatever he does what he wants <sniffs> to me it was more viable as a movie in the book how rick describes the move from greece to rome to america and so awkward i feel like cinematized it rolls smoother like, it's easier to bs things when it's in movie form rather than in literature because she he explained it like the the greek gods always moved to the western western center of power which what went from Greece to Rome to eventually America and Canada 
And um, in the book, it was just, what? So they moved across the, how does, and then how did nobody, how does nobody know about it? I don't understand. But then it all just, it comes together in the movie and you don't have time to question it because it's only an hour and a half long or something like that. I, I, I think that the only thing that I have, I have a beef with about the movie is the, um, the initial holding the breath for seven, seven minutes thing and the, uh, the changing of the ages. Because I heard that Logan Lerman signed on for two more movies as Perseus Jackson, and I'm interested to see how they're going to proceed, because changing their ages from 12 to 17 messes with a great prophecy for those who have read the book. Um, in sum, I think the movie was badass, and if you, like, if you didn't like it, then that's your opinion, and I respect that, because you're like one of those diehard fans that are just like, I want every single detail from the book to um, be like it was in the movie, but all, although admittedly, when I after I read the after I read the book, then I had to admit that um, it was pretty much just taking the names and little tiny parts and like the Greek myths, you know, like there's Medusa and there was Hades and they they all had like funky clothes and the oh, the uh, entrance to Olympus was in the Empire State Building. And those things stayed the same, but other than that, it, the parallels weren't, like, I could count them on both hands. I wouldn't need any any more than ten to count, <laughs> is what I'm saying. But yeah, I liked the movie, the special effects were decent, and as a movie, it was good. But compared to the book, it wasn't good, but I didn't like the book, so, impasse.